You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. Join us for our weekly broadcast, His Abounding Grace, with Minister Vanessa Williams. That's every Tuesday at 7 p.m. On Wednesday afternoons at 1 p.m., join Rev. Gwendolyn Dixon for the Midday Glory Prayer Line. The dial-in number is 641-715-3580. The access code is 732-499. And Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., Challenge to Change, where real transformation begins with you. That's with Pastor Paul Morgan of Chosen Generation Ministries in Richmond, Virginia. On Thursdays, live at 12 noon, join Rev. Pat Randall for Declaring the Finished Work for an hour of worship, exhortation, and prayer. Rev. Ray and friends are here on Friday nights at 7 p.m. with the joy of the Lord on Friday Night Joy. Sundays at 7 p.m., join Rev. Ray for Bread of Life for a Word in Season. And don't forget our monthly broadcast. First Mondays of every month at 7 p.m., be blessed with the teaching ministry of Apostle Shirley Jones on Lifeline. On third Mondays at 7 p.m., join Evangelist Louis McElwain for Adoration, a broadcast of worship and ministries on the mission field. Second Saturdays of the month, join Rev. Curtis, Rev. Novena, and Minister Jordana for Bold and Beautiful a youth and young adult broadcast setting the world on fire with the love of Jesus. All broadcast times are Eastern Standard Time. Hey family, join us for our newest broadcast, Marriage Takeover, The Body of One. Hosted by Rev. Eric and Rev. Tamika Thompson. The show airs every third Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This show will cover a wide range of topics. Nothing is off the table because it's all about strengthening the relationship of marriage. So that's Marriage Takeover, The Body of One, with Rev. Eric and Rev. Tamika Thompson, third Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry, We are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. When Christians Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry. So all of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. So go out to our website, www.whenchristianspeak.com, and click on our donation page. Challenge to change, where transformation begins with you. Change appears to be one of the biggest hindrances to growth from relationships that I have encountered while in ministry. Our focus is usually on someone else and what they have done or are doing to us, instead of us being accountable to God and making sure we're not a stumbling block to ourselves or others. Challenge to change is about us taking personal responsibility for our Christian walk 
as we face challenges and issues and how to overcome them through biblical tools and techniques that we will discuss on this show. Everything about this show is encompassed in us depending on the Holy Spirit to edify, enrich, and transform lives by introducing individuals to a personal encounter with God's unconditional love. That is where real transformation begins and ends. Let's do our opening confession. The Holy Spirit, override any obstacles that have hindered me or are hindering me from receiving my freedom in you. I renounce and counsel the effects of receiving any accusations and lies into my mind, body, soul, and heart that is contrary to the truth of who you say that I am. I declare that I live my life loved, cherished, and adored by you. I receive in my heart every expression of your love for me. Because you love me, I am free of all guilt, shame, and condemnation. In Jesus' name, amen. So we've been talking about Jesus is our focus. And what did we say the word focus meant? Oh, by the way, we have a conversational church. So just lift up your hand if you need a pen and paper. Just lift up your hand. See one. Two. Okay. So Jesus is our focus. I'm going to do a quick review. Jesus is the answer in Romans chapter 7, verse 24 and 25. It says, so the question was, so who is the answer? Who is the answer? And the answer was Jesus. He's the only one. When we come to the ed- end of ourselves and we have no way to go, our backs against the wall, it's Jesus that always has been the answer, but it's up to us to decide whether we're going to call on him. Then we, have, we talked about filling our minds with him by meditating on him. Anybody un- uh, uh, remember how we did meditation? Who, who wants to give us an example? Wayne? We take and, a Bible verse? And you go it word by word. Okay. And you um, think about what the meaning of that word is. Okay. And um, at the end, you relate it to yourself. Okay. All right. Yeah. Make it personal. Yes. Did anybody do any meditation? We got one, two, three, four, four people meditating. Okay. All right. Our life goes in the direction of our most dominant thought. What does that mean, guys? Our life goes in the direction of our most dominant thought. Hold, hold on. Raise your hand so we can get you on. Yes, sir. Where you had that? You, you okay. think of, your mind had that? Okay. Your, head, your mind heads towards what you think about the most. Any, any other example? You got Sharon? As, as a man thinketh, so is he. And what does that mean, Sharon? That as means the same thing. Same thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. The way you think that that's okay. the way your life is headed. In. Okay. Anybody ever went on a, 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 a diet for lack of a better word? Raise your hand if, if that's you. Did you count calories? Did you exercise more? Did, what, what did you do to, I mean, you maintain your focus on that, right? Okay. All right. Then we, we talked about how the God made up our born-again spirit. When we get born again, like the Holy Spirit communicates or talks to our human spirit. The human spirit is the perfect you. Okay, that's the perfect you. That's the you that's perfect. Then the human spirit communi- communicates with our soul. That's your mind, your will, and your emotions. And then your your mind, will, and emotions communicate to your body. Okay? You can't get in trouble with your body unless you, your mind allows you, because that's the curse. Your body can do anything that your mind tells it to do. Y'all heard about people lifting up cars? Well, they could always do that. It's just the situation never came to the point where they had to do it. But somebody's life was dependent on that. Got it? So, so what did I say about the Holy Spirit, and then the human spirit, and then our, our soul, and then our body? I want to make sure you understand. Anybody want to explain it back to me? Crickets? Crickets? <laughs> so, so make it personal for Teresa. So, Teresa, take a scripture. I mean, you know, you, you can say any scripture. You, I, I'm believing God for. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay. So you're going to take that. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the Word of God. And then you're going to put it in where? Your, humans, your, your whole human spirit. My human spirit. Okay. That's first. Okay. All right. And then for my human spirit, which talks to my soul, uh-huh. which is my mind, my, my will, and my emotions. Okay. And then from there, my soul talks to my physical, my physical body. Exactly. Okay. Everybody got it? Anybody need another example? You guys got it? Because that's how it works. 
So you determine how fast that's going to go to your soul and then to your body. You determine. So if you are overcoming sickness, then you got to put something into your human spirit that refutes the fact that sickness exists in it has a right to exist in your body. You follow me? So if the flu comes up, you got to have a word that in you that will refute the flu's right to exist in your body. And so then you, you tell your soul, no, you acknowledge the fact that, yeah, I'm overcoming sickness, but I'm not sick. I'm overcoming sickness because that puts you over the hump, right? And then your body starts to line up with it. Everybody got it? Turn to your neighbor and say, Nave, you all right? Nicole, they all right? Okay. So, so y'all ready? I'm going to the next level. Nicole, you can go ahead and record this for a few. All right. God's word is the truth. Will always change our situation, which is the fact. Everybody got that? Want me to repeat it? God's word, the truth, will always change our situation, the fact. So it might be a fact that you are unemployed. But the truth is God has already provided for you. He has given you all things that pertain to life and godliness. Is a job life? So you will take that word and you will change that fact. You got me? Heart disease, the doctors say, run in our family. But when they check me, they say, you all have one of the most born physicals we have ever looked at. And what they did was went back and pulled out the flip chart and looked at my mom dying at, at what, what, what age? Mom was early 60, dad was 58. And they looked at it and they said, you have no symptoms, no high blood pressure, no this, no that. How can that be? I took God's word, which is the truth, and said, I live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. I live a healthy and an active lifestyle. So I confessed those things until his word was more powerful than my family's history. Follow me? So you can't eat any way, if you got heart disease in your family, you can't eat any way you want to and then quote his word. You got me? So your, yours. Remember how we say it's the Holy Spirit or the Word talking to your human spirit, which is the perfect part of you, that goes into your mind, which is your mind, your will, your intellect, which controls your body. So when I think about what I want to eat, I'm thinking in terms of fried or grill. You, you got me? So I can't live seven days off of eating fried food. You follow? So, I, you know, I fry once a, once a week. That good? Okay. So God's word, the truth. Now, because I want to wake you guys up, Sharon, you know I got a handout. I got a handout. You, you got it, Rem? And uh, this, this handout, it says, God's word, the truth, will always change. And I put it in parentheses because some people try to go real spiritual, Ashley. I'm not saying that's, that's you. I just say, so, so, so people, what do you desire to see happen? Our situation, the facts. Okay. So I want you all to go ahead and pass that out. And then in a moment, we're going to pray, and I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to show you what area do you need to apply his word to because that situation appears to be real, more real than the word. And we know God's word, the truth, will always change our situation, the facts. Anybody had to overcome something within the last week or so? All right, I got Curly and I got Nicole. Give, give them a mic. Let them share. Physical symptoms, okay. All right. So how did you use the word of God to overcome the facts of the flu or whatever that was? Whatever it was. Yeah. Well, you know, there's always opportunity for someone to ask you a question and make you try to confess. Uh -huh. Oh, you sound like you I mean, first thing Monday, okay. one of my associates said, you sound like you have a cold. And I had to stop. <laughs> and I say, 
I'm sure I sound that way. Mm -hmm. However, I'm just overcoming okay. some sinus challenges. Okay. And so I had to remind myself, and then I meditated on the word okay. that his healing virtue was flowing throughout my sinuses all day. Okay. And I rested. Okay. Yes, Believe she did. Not, Say hallelujah. Yeah. For y'all that know her, Rev, Rev, Anderson, say hallelujah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nelson, you know. Yeah, yeah, okay. Rested. She rested. Oh, drunk a lot of water. Yes, she did. Took some elderberry natural stuff. Okay. Rosalind likes that. She's smiling about it. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, I, it's, it's doing better. Okay. And, and, and see, she did some works attached to that, which was, uh, I, I enjoy seeing her lay down and rest. So I said, okay, honey, such and such, such and such. And I said, you know, you, you need anything else? And she said, well, I think I need to go out just to the store. Because that was her faith, Teresa, was if you are healed, you're going to do something like heal people do. You follow me? So if you heal, you're going to do something that heal people do. So, and, and she wouldn't let me drive. I mean, she laying on the steering wheel like this. But she's doing something that heal people do. Heal people drive. You got me? So now we made it to the store and back. I'm praying in tongues. <laughs> Keep an eye on her. Okay. Who else had a hand up? Nicole. So mine was not physical. It was emotional. Okay. All right. And um, today was a, a very challenging day. Okay. Uh, the spiritual was meditating on the scripture, but okay. also playing some videos that would help me hear teachings about overcoming and okay. what I'm being mindful of what I'm saying but the challenge was leaving the house like okay. I just wanted to stay in the house okay. be okay. quiet okay. at least I know what's going on in my house <laughs> I don't know what's, my neighbors across the street called the police for something I was like if I just stay here I know it's safe okay. but that's not helpful for my emotional state okay. so I have this kickboxing class I went to kickboxing okay. yeah she's a kickboxer over there look at put her arms up to her like okay all right, <laughs> all right so what happened Nicole um and I knew that would help, like, endorphins. I went to Kroger and got some vitamins. Okay. Like, I need some herbal. So just practically going through the okay. things. But as I was driving here, you know, you hear the voice of the enemy, like, uh, you know, you're tired. Uh -huh. You should just stay at home. You, all those voices. And literally, as you've been teaching, I had to say out loud okay. to those voices where they needed to go okay. and, and that they could stay there. Amen. Yeah. All right. So... So the word overcame the facts. The fact is that she was tired. The fact is she wanted to stay home. But the, the word says, the truth says, I can say something and get rid of this. Amen? Uh, Y'all got it? So yeah, yeah, in a moment, I'm going to pray and I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to show you what area, what situation you're dealing with where the facts seem more real to you than the word. Okay? <laughs> she said, oh, gosh. <laughs> And all I ask is that you listen to what he says and not what you think. Okay? I mean, I just want to take the easy way out. Okay. I got 80% of the crowd. Yeah, there you go. I'm waiting on you to raise your hand. All right? So, so you guys, you can go ahead and do it too. So give them a sheet. Make sure they get a sheet. Everybody ready? Any questions? It might be an image or it might be a word. Or knowing. You know something you've been dealing with. Okay? Alright, so repeat after me. Holy Spirit, you're the teacher. You're my guide. Would you mind showing me the one area, the one situation that I have placed above your name? Alright, so go ahead and put it at the top of the list. Uh, go down to the, the situation, because we want to put the situation first. Everybody got it? Anybody want to share what their situation is? I got two. She, she looking at me like, I was getting ready to write, and then you, you raised your hand. Did you see that posture? She was like, oh, come on, yeah, man. Do <laughs> go ahead. Well, um, my situation is, um, I got hit by a car okay. about seven and a half, eight months ago. Okay. And, um, I have a huge court case coming up this Tuesday. Okay. And, um, this has been physically, mentally draining, keep saying this is going to happen, what's going to happen. Okay. And, um, 
wife tell me relax. Okay. You know, put it in God's hands. Okay. But I'm trying to overthink it. Okay. I ain't been sleeping the last week. Okay. Um, and I'm just worrying about constantly saying, you know, what's going to happen, what I'm going to say, okay. you know, what these people going to do, and it's, okay. it's overwhelming me right now. Okay. All right. So you wrote that down? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the, the middle question I want to ask you is what do you want to see happen? Y- y'all see that middle question? Conclusion, just for it to uh, be over with. Okay. Yeah, you know, I think I'm ready for it all. To, you know. Um, Do you want to win settle. though in that? Yeah, I want to settle. Okay. You know, um, just want I just want to be, I think, a fair settlement so okay. I can move on. Okay. With my life. Okay. So you want to write that down? Okay. A- anybody got a scripture for him? I just want to give him an example because the, the the one that I'm hearing and you guys uh, uh, chime in. It says in Acts where it says, when you brought before the judges or, or before the authorities, think not what you should say at that moment, for it shall be given you. Y'all, y'all need to look it up for me. I, I mean, I did recall. I did it from the spirit, man. That's it. That's right, but I, I say when I don't know something. So y'all help me out now. Help me find it. They're going to find it for you. We, we, we gonna, you you got to have God's word to stand on. So they're looking it up. Everybody looking it up. Oh, no, we looking for him. See, he's trying to move him out the way. Move him out the way. Hold on a second. Can you put the t- uh, CD on, Paul? Now, the whole, now, now, look around and see how many people are in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So out of 26 people, very woman that said that she wanted to stay home was the only person that could find the scripture. So would it be that the God of our universe, the God of our father, knew that Nicole would be the only one that could find his scripture that he needed? And did she need to come? Not for Nicole, so she could help somebody else. And that's called the body of Christ. We are stronger together. So because you did something for him, he never asks us to do something without you getting blessed. Father, see how that worked? Now, eventually, we would have found it. But she found it. God is just good like that. Amen? Y'all see it? That, that's how we, we, we got that relationship. Me and him flow like that. I said, so what was the purpose? Why did she find it? He said, because I needed her to do what I needed her to do for him. Okay? All right. Who, one, one, one more example. Who, who else wanted one? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's right. She wanted. She would give me a push him to the side. Get get out of the way. Let me talk about mine. All right? Raise your hand to make yourself. Oh, Wayne, go ahead. Wayne? Yes. Uh, I'm I'm looking for another job. Looking for another job. I'm unemployed job. right now, so that's something that, um, that, that is the situation. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And what outcome do you want? What do you want to see happen? I want to get a, a new job uh, quickly. Okay. And one that I really like and enjoy. And enjoy. Okay. All right. Yes. So you're going to put that down. Okay. So any scripture he can stand on? God perfects. Okay. Okay, Reverend, well, see, see can you find find out where that is, guys. Because we want to give him hard data. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, one, one, one more. Just, just start all over again. I know y'all are so excited to talk. What, what's the chapter and verse? Ephesians. Okay. Chap- Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Okay. Now it- unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Okay. All right. Remember, you got yours yet? You got one? Okay. It might come in your way. Uh-huh. Yep. Psalms 138.8. Okay. And I have the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. So this is what I teach. I look at which scripture has the most power to me. I don't have to know five scriptures. I don't have to know two. I just have to know the one that I believe. And the way I do that is I rate it. So when I read that scripture, I say, okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much can I believe that scripture? If that's a 2, then I go to the next one. 
And if I rate that one and that's it, and, and when I read it, I bear witness with it, then that's an eight. Then I'm going to go with the one that I put an eight by. Because that's already has root in me. You understand what I'm saying? So some people, they, they, they got to have 15 scriptures. All you need is one that you believe. Because his, his word has power. And it has life. And it is life-giving. Okay? Tamika, are you ready? She waited patiently. <laughs> Hello? Okay. So. <laughs> the whole world is listening. <laughs> so I had to make sure I wasn't hearing myself. So okay. I had to raise my hand and, okay. you know, ask for more help. Okay. So, because at first I was saying work, but that was probably just me. Okay. So I got control. Like, Ooh. I want to control everything. Okay. But was that really? I mean. I'm still trying to yeah. that, 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 That's God. <laughs> <laughs> that's God. Because <laughs> I'm like, did it really fit with this? But I did. Yeah. I put control. Okay. Everything. Okay. So. Okay. And what's the outcome of that? What, what do you want to see happen? I, if it's truly God, and I believe it is. Everybody say, I believe it is. <laughs> <laughs> then I, what do you want to see the outcome of your control? I wrote that I would like to be able to relax okay. and trust. Relax and trust. Okay. Yes. All right, very good. Amen. Cause you remember that word you spoke today? Something about in, in trying to gain control, we lose control. I think that's what you said. Yeah, right, right that down. Right, right that down. It's not a scripture, but it's wisdom. In trying to gain control, we lose control. That's what it was. See, I listen to my wife. I listen to what she said. All right, anybody else want to share? You good? You, you got one share? Yeah, I just wanted to share that the um, the scripture that um, that N- Nicole found was the scripture that uh, Ed and I are standing on. Ed has a phone interview on March the twenty second okay. with the IRS. Okay, and so that is definitely, you know, when you bring Ed before the synagogues, the rulers, and the authorities. Okay. Ed, don't worry about how or what you are to speak in your defense or what to say, but God will put in your mouth how you should re- respond or okay. reply. Okay. So you made it personal. Yeah. So, 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 guys, this is where the rubber meets the road. Every part of your human being is going to try to look at the negative. Okay, now uh, I I be real with you, brother. Okay, so if he wanted to win, why did I have to ask him? What do you want to do? What do you want to see? Because in his mind, he's already seen the scenarios of losing. Did anybody else pick that up? Okay, all right. So 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 look around just so that you know it's not just me picking on you. At, at this side, this side trying to be conservative. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I, okay. Right C- okay. 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 Because she's sitting, she's sitting beside that controlling a wife, yeah. so she she's scared to raise her hand. She's like, okay, I don't know what this controlling woman gonna do to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So in people's voice tone tonations, you can hear what they believe. So when you see the image, like let's say for example, Ed, if Ed sees anything but victory, that's where he starts to resist the thought. Placing it with that scripture. Does that mean the egg gets much sleep? Absolutely not. He has to replace the thought every time it comes. Seeing himself lose. Seeing, okay, so we're going to take Ed out the equation. So when somebody mentioned IRS, what do you think? Huh? What do you say? <laughs> Fear? Okay. Y'all raise your hand now. Y'all, we, we on the international radio. In, in, international internet. All right, so what, what, what'd you get? I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm, right. in trouble. I'm in trouble. Okay, all right. Yeah, they're coming after me. They're coming after me. Curly. Even Top got up for that. Oh, okay. They're going to take my property, take huh? my home, take my bank account, close everything down. I'm okay. not going to have any money. I'm not going to okay. be able to do anything. Okay, all right. I know because that used to be my thought. <laughs> okay, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right. Who, who else? Ram, what you got? You think of something? What you got? What, what, what does the IRS say? What mistakes have I made? What mistakes have I made? Okay. Nicole? They don't leave empty-handed. They don't leave empty-handed. 
So now, just with that being said, does Ed have work to do? Because that's inbred. When I ask y'all, and, and, and some of y'all not even dealing with IRS, IRS issues. But you know when that name is called, that's why I had to run down the hall to the people. I was like, I saw my wife's face. I, I, I saw her. And, and you know, Curly type person, she just cool. She like that all the time. And there's certain times where she's sitting, she's just reflective. You know, when, when we drive, when we're going somewhere, Teresa, she just looks out the window. And like, just look out the window. You know, and I, I'd be, but what's she looking at? I, I, I say, honey. <laughs> she has my line. Do she look out the window? She just look out the window. She don't like to talk when she rides, you know. I'm thinking if I'm driving, I'm doing the work, she's going to talk to me. No, no, we got a salad, salad. I, I say, honey, what are you, what, what you thinking about? Nothing. What are you looking at? Trees. <laughs> I said, that's four hours of trees, baby. That tree going to look like that tree. <laughs> but sometimes, just the way one eye does as opposed to the other one, I say, honey, so what are you thinking about? And whenever I would ask that question, she would say, the IRS. Now, it wasn't a worry thing. It was just, I was running from her. Say run. run. So I was like, man. She done said that about four times. I need to, I need to do something with it. So, I see, I got two. So, I put on my big boy underwear, and I, I went to the IRS. And I said, honey, I'm, go- I'm going. And, 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 you know, like, she met me at the door, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm locked the door. You going today. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I'm going. I ain't want her to go with me. I, I, I want to do this by myself. So, y- y- y'all know the story. I got two. They got the metal detector and all that kind of stuff. And, and I, I just, like, uh, tried to rush past them. And then I just ran down the hallway towards the IRS only to be told that they closed in 15 minutes and they didn't want to take the case. So, so just go home and you can call on the Internet. So I, I left disappointed because I built up my courage. I was ready. I was ready for this. Day. I put this down for three years. And then so, you know, I, I had to go through because I didn't like that little face that she would make with the eye was different than the other eye. It, it only happened when she is really concerned about something. So, made the call, and in fact, um, they told me to go back to the internet. I waited 20-something minutes, and they said, just go to the internet. So, you put in what the amount was that you owe, and then they come back, back with a figure. And I'm like, yeah, Curly, we should have did this a long time ago. <laughs> and that I was cool. Follow me? So, it has work to do. If what you all said is some of the thoughts that he thinks. Follow me? So you gotta stay, you gotta stay the course of saying something. You gotta find that word that you're gonna stand on. And you gotta repeat that word out loud, out loud, and guess what? Out loud. And guess what? Out loud. And guess what? Out loud. You gotta say it until every part of you, which is the human spirit, that gets it first. Then your soul, your mind, your will, and intellect gets it, and then your body. How do you know when it's in your body? It's because you'll start to sleep. If you want to know how do you know when it's in your body, you'll start to sleep. Whatever you were concerned about is going to manifest itself in your body. Like some people, when they're stressed out, they eat. How do you know when that scripture that you stood on is in your body? You will stop eating. Emotional eating, you know what it is? Yeah. yeah. So if, if let, let's say... Ed might carry his in the sleep. You might carry yours in eating. You'll know when that scripture is in your body. It went from your spirit to your, it went from the Holy Spirit to your human spirit to your mind. And then when it's in your body, you will do something different than how you were coping by using food. So when you go to eat something, you're like, I don't really need this. So that's when you know whatever that fear or whatever that stress is no longer present because you don't use your body to cope with what you haven't processed. All right? Anything else? Yes, Wayne. So when the Holy Spirit talks to you, your human spirit, what is your, your human spirit? You say that's the perfect part. but That's the perfect part of you. That's the part of you that, that basically is Christ-like. Like your spirit, your, your, mm-hmm. the Holy so Spirit. So you are a spirit. 
Okay. You have a soul. You live in a physical body. Okay, got but you. But who who is Wayne? He is a spirit. Okay. Okay, yeah. I got you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Go, you thinking? Yes, ma'am. But guys, I want to get rid of the myth that all I have to do is just think about Scripture and that's it. I got to do something with the Scripture. I, it has to become a part of my being. And in order to do that, based off whatever, you know, there are certain parts of us that once we got born again, we just stopped doing it. That was God going directly to our spirit and we just became free. But the other stuff we have to apply his word to. Yes, ma'am. My situation is I applied for a job a few weeks ago. Okay. I got a personalized email. They told me that I didn't get the position. However, the director of talent management wanted to have an interview with me. Okay. Uh, regarding potential opportunities. Okay. So they didn't say what the opportunities are, uh-huh. what job they're looking at, but they want me to come in and have an interview on Wednesday. So I'm like nervous because it's like when you know what the job is and you can prepare and, okay. and tailor your questions based okay. on what the requirements for the job is. So okay. I'm very, I'm trying not to be nervous about it. All right. So what, what outcome do you want? To get a new job. Okay. Getting paid way more, okay. better benefits, okay. great maternity okay. uh, package. I'm on maternity. <laughs> what the what? Hey, I'm going to lean on the wall. <laughs> okay, I'm leaning on the wall. I, uh, I'm not turning back to the wall, but I'm leaning on the wall. Okay, all right. Tavessa's got a hand like this. She's so like, like that. Wall. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Just give me a minute. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. In, in case y'all didn't know, that's my daughter. Uh, yes, sir. All right. All right, so, so what scripture can she stand on? you believe for a job? Is it the same scripture as Wayne or the Holy Spirit got something different? What do y'all think? So she did twofold. She's concerned about the interview, what she's going to say. So can we use the same one that you guys found in Luke? Or she, we, or she wants a different one. That's her personality. All right, that's not good enough, Nicole. We, we got to find, find Jesus another way. All right, y'all got it? Y'all going to help out or what? What are we going to do? Audrey's coming your way. (laughs) Second Corinthians. Second chapter 14 verse. what, What does it say? Now thanks be unto God which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. Okay. And, and, and that might fit really good because she likes to triumph. She don't just like to win. She likes to stand over people's bodies and stuff. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah you, you are, Jay. You're a warrior. I'm serious. It's like, so are you dead? Are you dead? Okay. <laughs> sure, am I lying? No, no, okay. All right, all right. You, you understand what I'm saying? Just don't get in a fight with her. Okay? Just don't get in a fight. All right, because she, she's kind of set up when, he, when you say triumph. Yeah, she likes that. Okay, say it one more time. She doesn't know what, what she says she's not aware, but whatever it is, God knows what it is, and he's going to cause her to win, to triumph, to yeah. overcome, to yeah. get the job, yeah. or whatever. Okay. Have her. Oh, read the message. I think she's taking that as hers. What do y'all think? Messiah in Christ, God leads us from place to place and one perpetual victory parade. Through us, he brings knowledge of Christ, Everywhere we go, people breathe in the exquisite fragrance. Because of Christ, we give off a sweet scent rising to God, which is recognized by those on the way of salvation, an aroma with life. But those on the way to destruction treat us more like this. Oh, I won't read that okay, part. But okay, anyway. All right, all right. What, what scripture verse, Jay? Second Corinthians 2, uh, 14 in the message. All right. Anybody, what's your question, uh, might, might come your way. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're moving. <laughs> um, the position, he, they said the position is already filled, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay. Because that can change. Also, I don't know what the scripture is, okay. but I guess maybe rules, laws, regulations yeah. can change on behalf of her. Yeah. 
in her favor. What is it? How do you say that? Uh, uh, I, I wrote the prayer based off of scripture I read. Uh, but the heart of the king is in the hands of the of God. That's where I got policies, rules, regulations, and laws are changed and reversed on our behalf. Yes, sir. Based on what she said, the job you interviewed for was not for you. Okay. There is a job for you, and that's why they want you to come back. Gotcha. You just okay. don't know what it is. Okay. Okay. And it's what you were asking for, what you're looking for. You know, so okay. I think it's awesome. Okay, awesome. You know. <laughs> All right, so in this ministry, I always tell people, God told me two strong things when I started this ministry. He said, everyone here that's a part of this body will have gifts that they are not aware of. That's one of the things he told me. And the other thing was, people who were looking for employment will have three choices. Three choices. So you would not just be offered one job. You would be offered three. It could be three separate companies, but you, you don't just get one choice here. Okay? Amen? All right? You, she grinned about that. She's not grinning. Okay. I'm happy about that Jesus. Okay? Anything else? Uh, Wayne? Then Sharon? I just want to say that it's very unusual that they, even though you didn't get that job, they asked you to come in for an interview. So they definitely got something special yeah. planned yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. very unusual. Yeah. Y'all don't know what we be saying. <laughs> to my my memory, also the um, the affirmation that we make every week that every time people think, see, or hear about Jasmine, that they have the unyielding desire to give her great favor and unlimited in income. And I was thinking the same thing with Wayne. Uh -huh. They said they fill the position, but still come in like, duh, who does that? Yeah, yeah. it's real. Amen. So you guys got any questions? So y'all, know, you know what your assignment is. Your assignment is whatever you put on that sheet that the Holy Spirit told you, then you find a scripture for it, and it's your responsibility. Day in, day out, in the nighttime hours. Isn't that that old term? Nighttime hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you quote that thing. Last night I had some stuff going on. I got up out of the bed because it's like. Man, God was showing me some stuff. And it's like, no need me just tossing and turning in the bed. Just, just get up. Get up. I got up. Because it's like the scripture just kept rolling around in my head. It just, just what he, he made provision for us in every area of our lives. You know, we, we look at a healing scripture. But that was him letting us know that he could heal everything. We, we, you know, the, the, the fish where he said, go get the corn. That wasn't just about the fish. That was about finances. He made provision for that. I mean, and he just started unraveling to me all the things he made provision for. So it's insulting to me, with God being my father, for people to say that the word has no relevance for today. It's insulting. Because believe it or not, you're going to run into something that you can't get out of other than his miraculous power and his word and his favor, and his grace, and his mercy. You are not who you are except Jesus visited you, or somebody was praying for you. Somebody was believing for you. So, so the, the word of God says, it's a fool that says there is no God. You got it? So I, I had to get up out of bed, because it's like, man, you, you want to tell me something. You're showing me something. You're giving me something. So why, why, why stay in there? You got me? So anything else? Are you good, Ashley? Ashley got a question. She, she might have a question. No, not a question, a situation. So the Holy Spirit revealed to me that I doubt him okay. a lot. Okay. I doubt what he can do. Uh huh. Anybody ever doubt it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. Right, I just saw the big, like a big word, doubt. Okay. Right. And, of course, I'm overanalyzing it, like, what do I doubt? You know, like, what did I do? So, okay. um. Hold, hold on, people. We got one conversation, right? Here. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I have a lot of um, doubt, and then, you know, in my mind, I feel like I'm trying to analyze the situation. Okay. And he showed me, I did it before. I'll do it again. Okay. And um, so I found a couple of scriptures okay. that I can lean on, but I wanted one more so okay. I can pick the best one. Okay. All right. So you gotta tell us what you got. What I have Ecclesiastes one nine. All right. Who, who's gonna read, look at that one up for oh. us? Okay, she, she's in control. No, 
Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm just. <laughs> oh no, you, 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 we, we wait oh, on you. Um, that which has been is that which will be again, okay. and that which has been done is that which will be done again. So there is nothing new under the sun. Okay, all right. So that's one. Okay, the second one is Mark eleven twenty three. And I think that involves me. Okay. I need to speak to my situation. I need to speak to my son's skin. I need to speak to what's going on in my mind. Okay. And it speaks about um, speaking um, speaking to that mountain. Okay. And it will be moved and cast into the sea. Okay. Okay. All right. But I feel like I need something else. Okay. She, she says she needs something else. Okay. So, so. Yeah. Okay. And I just wrote down... Um, so I'm doubtful, yes, but I I brought up my son's eczema last week, mm-hmm. and to some it might not seem like a big deal, but I look at him every day and it just eats me up that I have to, um, not that I have to, but I don't know how it feels to him. It looks like it hurts, okay. you know, and um, it's just bothering me. I, and it changes every day. I don't know if it's getting better or worse. Okay. And I'm just overdoing it in here, in my okay. head, okay. obviously. Okay. But I need something to stand on. Okay, I appreciate your honor. Okay, I got one, one in the back. I may need the scholars to help you with this, but there's a verse in the Bible that says that God is greater than our hearts and he knows all things. Okay. So that when we are doubt, we can rest in the fact that God can still fix things. Okay. Even though, because, you know, we think our doubt is like we make that an idol too. Okay. So I, right. But I'm not sure what the scripture y- y'all is. Y'all going to help up? Help up? So put me on pause. Time I'm afraid, I will trust in him. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's what, what, what's the scripture in the verse? Um, so, so we're looking for it. <laughs> he said, yes, he's back. <laughs> Where you been? He been asleep or something? Where you been? <laughs> oh, she, she found it. What was it? Three. Psalms fifty six three. It says, "What time I am afraid, I will trust in Thee." Okay. How does that feel to you? It feels good. Okay. I didn't realize that doubt was a form of fear. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean we're on your side, right? <laughs> y- 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 y'all. On your side. Like, <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, I'm just thinking. I'm. I'm just. You know. I second. I'm second guessing it. And I'm thinking. And you know what? I hear a lot in my head. Mm-hmm. I hear, and I know it's the Holy Spirit. He's saying. Just because it is doesn't mean it has to be. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's deep, right? Yeah. I mean, I can apply that to everything going yeah. on in my life. Just because it's always, like, that's how it is, it doesn't have to be like that for my okay. situation or okay. for my kids or my health or uh-huh. anything. Uh-huh. Love it. I mean, when, when, when you hit baby, the first baby, and they said that your heart was messed up, one or the other, either baby could live or you could live or whatever, but God came in and healed it. And then so when you hear the second baby, they try to bring the same symptoms. Yeah, you know, they want to tell me I have blood pressure issues. Okay. Every time I walk in there, my br- blood pressure is normal. Okay. You know, um, too much volume. You have too much. Well, what could happen after you have the baby, um, when you have a baby, you lose a lot of blood okay. all at once. Mm-hmm. And so they're saying, well, what could happen? Your blood pressure could drop and you can go into a stroke and blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I don't receive that. I don't believe that. And that was part of my confessions I wrote. I okay. said, nope. My blood pressure will be normal. Okay. My blood volume will return back to normal um, as soon as the baby is, you know, gone out of my body. And I will recover in no time. Okay. Can you say and that? And that's exactly what happened. Can you say that about your son that you look at every day? I need to be. Okay. Yeah. Right. So if, say, say, say if. Yeah. <laughs> Based off, and I'm going to give you some facts so that hopefully that will move you to something. Okay? <laughs> off of 20 years of counseling, wherever there's eczema and psoriasis, it's stress-related. So if you would just speak to your son and command stress to leave your household. Okay? No, I mean, it's funny you say that because last week you told me it was his skin... Like crying, crying. crying. Mm-hmm. and I, I prayed on it. I wanted it to be revealed to me if it's something in my house, if it's something going on between, you know, my husband and I, or my, or my other kids. 
and he revealed to me that it was the sleeping arrangement. My um, husband has not been sleeping in the bed. Okay. The baby has been in the bed. Okay. And um, lately, I've been feeling really stressed about it. Okay. I did not want him in the bed. He was there just because when I was healing up, it was more convenient right. for me mm-hmm. just to go right here and get him. But now I'm, I'm healed. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. I'm healed from the from the uh, C-section. Okay. And I'm ready for him to get out of my bed, and I'm ready for my husband to come back in the bed. Okay. You know? And so I feel like that had a lot to do with it. That's what was revealed to me. Okay. The sleeping arrangement. So does that mean stress to you guys? Would that, that, yeah. How long have you been sleeping with your hood? <laughs> oh, a long time. <laughs> I mean, you know, keep it. Yeah, yeah. Keep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it. I've been sleeping with my husband as long as I'm supposed to be sleeping with my husband. Okay. Uh, um, but 15 the baby, years, 20 years? What? Yeah, yeah, you know, okay. all that. So that separation, could that produce stress? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, that, that was cool how she asked. He smirked. No. <laughs> all right, guys, I, I got to uh, stop. Any any questions? Yes, ma'am. I just want to clarity. When you say you mark, the scriptures, like as you're reading them, do you, how, how do you do that? What, 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 what when you're marking the scriptures, this is the eight, this is the five, or this resonates oh, with okay. me. So you, you, you have the nor on the inside, okay? And when you read the scripture, you can tell based off the nor, which is the Holy Spirit, which scripture you really believe. No, no, no. I mean, I might do it if I'm going through the process, but I mentally do it now, you know? Um, when you read the scripture out loud, see, some people think the longer the scripture, the more faith is in it. I learn, I grab quicker with a shorter scripture because it's like, boom, that's it, what I needed to say. That's all I need. You follow me? Everybody understand what I'm saying? You know when it's your scripture. It's like the Holy Spirit will illuminate it and you just grab it. That was what was going on last night when, when I, I just couldn't sleep. It was like, I got to get up. But, yeah, so you can start off by rating it. You know, just read it out loud. You don't want to read it in, inside your mind. Read it out loud and see how it sounds to you. Then read the next one and then read the next one. And then just pick one. Amen? Okay? All right. All right, let's do our code confession. All right, let's read it again. I stir up the gift that is within me by faith. I'm stirring up the power that is within me. I'm stirring up myself and running fear, procrastination, and every hindering spirit out of my personal and business affairs. I'm ruled by my spirit. I tell my mind what to think and my body what to do. For I am a master of my emotions. I'm a person of immediate action. I am steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. These goals are my passion. I pursue them with enthusiasm and relentless determination. My feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. My loins are girded about with truth. I have on the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit wherewith I quench every fiery dot of the wicked, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. No sickness, disease, incidents, or accidents can come nigh my dwelling. If I drink of any daily thing, it shall not hurt me. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh my dwelling. I came to win, in Jesus' name. Amen. See you on Thursday. This concludes today's broadcast of Challenge to Change, where real transformation begins with you, with Pastor Paul Morgan. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry, We are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry, so all of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. 
So go out to our website, www.whenchristianspeak.com, and click on our donation page. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.